Just hey, welcome back to Chronicles of Legends. Don't forget to praise Team Matt. For Bahamut! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, not Bahamut. <laughs> oh, Team Matt. Team Matt's the best. <laughs> best at losing. Okay, we are in Helgoggle, the capital. It's night evening as all the heroes decided to go the ways for a little bit of misadventure or adventure. And currently, we stand with Amalia, who mm-hmm. met the grinder in the opera. <laughs> And the Phantom of the Opera himself. Yes. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, yeah, and John and Razor, who has information about something going on with the Witch uh, King, not the Witch King, I'm sorry, the Warlock Knights and the Joust. And the Hera finds herself in the gardens and just unleashed, what do you think? I, I, I haven't a clue. <laughs> <laughs> haven't a clue. An individual who perhaps looks somewhat like a genie from a flower. It pops up in front of you. <laughs> and you ask this individual, What are you? And the individual looks down. It's a very towering presence. I mean, just uh, probably uh, maybe they're 20 feet tall by 10 feet tall. And puts a hand back. Oi! 1,000 years and give you such a crank in the neck. Vahera, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it? Yes, how did you know that? Well, you are lucky number 69, and you just won <laughs> a wish. <gasps> what? Oh. Oh. Come on. And he puts up his hand. <laughs> you expect me to shake. Do you think no, you no, need no. to get? Okay. And he, he flicks his wrist, and suddenly you are in the clouds above Demara. You're what? sitting in this formal tea table. Is <laughs> Aaron a teacup? Aaron a teacup already in hand, and uh, and this this what looks like a genie moves back into the sky and then flicks his wrist again, and there's a, a magical scene and an illusion, sort of like background dancers behind him, oh, and strange music strums in the air uh, as the individual puts on some sunglasses and a cylindrical <laughs> piece of metal puts in front of his hand, and he says, one, one, two. I'm a magical genie here to grant you your wish for the flick of the wish your dreams come to exist. From a place in the clouds, I watch over all below, bringing joy and wonder wherever I go. But be careful what you wish for, because it may come at a cost. And remember that true magic comes from within, not from what's lost. So dream big, my friend, but you need to be kind. For with magic in your heart, you leave a trail of light behind. Magic, magic, it's a wonderful thing. With the way of the hand, I can make anything come to life, so come on, let's begin. Hey, drop the mic. Throw it through the air. Word. <laughs> Word. Nice. I'm gonna. Is there a place for me to set the cup down? Yeah, of course. It's, it's a very. Set the cup down. Room. Okay. And just applaud. <laughs> and he shoots forward and sits in front of you. <laughs> On the table. Cross leg. Alrighty then. So you're a genie. Come to grant me a wish. But He's that str- wish might have a cost. And he strokes his. Goatee? I don't know what that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he looks at you. I'm just yanking your chain, cooking your goose, marauding your marauders. <laughs> well, see, I figured, because nothing in this world comes without a cost. Of course! My name is Zunk. James Thunk. Archmage. License to thrill. Wait, sorry, what now? You've heard of me? You're the Archmage Zunk. Yes, the Archmage Zunk. <laughs> I was contacted by a judgy fellow who thinks he's smart he is. Huh. For you? Yes. You are the one I seek. So tell me, you failed at securing the city of Brass. Ah, uh, the Codex. Of course. Yes, you know of it. Vera, I thought I could conquer the city of Brass with his incredible power. I didn't realize, I didn't realize that one human man could be bested by four million Afrit warriors. (laughs) 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 Vera, my greatest tragic flaw is math. And he sort of just swims around the sky. And just, like, tears are pouring from his eyes. Yes. 
<laughs> yes, math. Uh, one of my eldest foes. <laughs> <laughs> the elder god Math. Eight zero zero. Do you know the story then? <laughs> I suffered a terrible retribution for my hubris. My body was cut, cut into a hundred pieces. It's one, two, one hundred. Portions scattered across the winds, burned by fire, dissolved into acidic waters, buried below the earth. I was slightly turned on. It was so vicious. <laughs> but the power of the Codex would not let me die, Vahera. No, as I have been warned. Ah, so tragic. Do you know why? She's still gonna I did this. <laughs> <laughs> why? Yes. All of this, I promised my ex-girlfriend Laura in college that I would show her the greatest bonfire rager the world had ever seen. <laughs> and I failed. I failed, Pharaoh. I failed. Yes. yes, you did. No one thinks I'm a genie. <laughs> but you see, I am here to learn from your mistake. Hmm. Perhaps correct some lines of the story. Okay. If I can be successful, maybe you will not be seen as a failure but as the one who tutored me to excellence. Perhaps I can do more, how's the tea? <laughs> Fantastic. It is. <clears throat> well, like I said, I do have a wish to grant you. And what is that? But before you tell me... Ah, uh, you are another <laughs> dope rhyme? Your rhyming was excellent, but... Tell me what the cost is first. No cost. I don't believe you. Nothing in this world comes without a cost. You said it earlier yourself. What if I told you I'd do it all over again for Laura? If your love was true, I'm sure you would. You seem like a just man yourself. Everyone called me an idiot. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I failed math, but back to business. Back to business. You want the Codex, I assume? I do. Well, you don't need it. For you see, before I was dismembered, I cast an incantation. <laughs> <laughs> what? You get over there. Yeah. Okay. I it's cast going through. an incantation. <laughs> A powerful incantation I learned from a wandering wizard. It was killed two years later by a... He was killed by a... A falling piano from two stories high years later. Now, I am still able to siphon the power of the Codex. Just a little bit. Enough for your purposes. I know what you want. I know who you are. Who am I and what Not do I Laura, want? Not Laura, but I'd still help you. Who am I and what do I want? Vahera, the Lady of Inferno. Everyone knows this. Everyone? Hmm. Everyone who's a wizard. Hmm. How do I know I can trust you? I'll tell you three reasons. You can trust me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Defeat it again! <laughs> Can't math. That's my note. And how do I know you're not secretly working for Tiamat? I would never work for Tiamat. The Archmage. I'll tell you what. Both myself and Judgment paid a price for me to be here. Interesting. What price would that be? I don't actually exist. I gathered. Judgment made that happen. Hmm. He gave up something. Powerful. Maybe a part of himself. I don't know. But he wouldn't have done that. He didn't believe in you. And your cause. And I have nothing to lose. I'm ready to set that place on fire. It's already on fire. More on fire. Well, <laughs> then perhaps I can trust you. So can I tell you then? Be my guest. Okay. Here's what you need. I'll siphon the power. As much as I can take. Mm -hmm. I can get you there if you need to. And I can use this energy to blow a hole, so big hole, through there, from the gates, the 
brazen gates to the charcoal palace and make your way in there and defeat a swath of the Sultan's army in one go. I like your idea, but I have thoughts. Bring it. What if I asked you not to blow a hole straight through to the main gate, but in the nearby Asphodel Meadows? where the subjugated races mainly reside. Let's do it. Here's one more thing I must ask of you. Mm -hmm. You can siphon the power of the Codex. I have heard tell that the Codex can allow one to summon a greater demon and bind it to their will. Who do you want? Hmm. I'll elaborate. Or I'll, I'll do some research on that. But I have a plan. And with your help, it might just work. All right. Um, we when... need to force the Sultan to move the city. That is the key. The city moves ever so slightly. It hovers, traveling throughout the elemental plane of fire. But it does not move quickly. We must force the Sultan to assume that there is an attack on his city and force him to move it, creating the very vacuum of power that I need. What if I were to create an invisible army, a visible invisible army <laughs> of millions of Whatever Ifrit hate the most, I assume ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Attacking them. I think that would do just the trick. Great. Ice cream or So allow me and my compatriots to slip into the city. Now, this is a multi-step plan and we'll have to go over this in finer detail. Wait, there's a first step. Which is? To do this incantation, you must acquire have you heard of spell components? Yes. Hey, we don't use them in our camp. I've never heard of them. Yeah. What but the fuck for is this that? spell, <laughs> this powerful spell, we need three components. And I can do everything you want. Grant your wish. This is actually, yes, three. The first, I need a moonlight flower from the Pilvuria Glacier. The second, a celestial dragon mushroom from the Chult Jungles. The third, Devil's Ivy from the Chongdo Woods. Fourth. Hmm? Good Please. luck. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can acquire these things. Conveniently. Mm -hmm. We'll be headed towards the glacier relatively shortly, I would imagine. Well, that's great. Will I lose contact with you? Yes, absolutely. Very well. But when the time is right, I will be able to direct you in the plan that we wish to take when we take the city. Once you have the components, I will sacrifice the rest of my life energy to assist you. All right. Mm. Then perhaps your existence is not for naught. I agree. Do something. Well, it's been fun. Definitely. <laughs> so <laughs> fun! Entertaining, <laughs> to say the least. When you do take the city, you now have to throw a bonfire rage in his <laughs> oh, honor. Oh, you bet you <laughs> Just her hair. Well, then... And you see him already kind of begin to fade away. I'm gonna, um, take off my glove, and, uh, you will see the tattoo burned on my hand. And I will extend my hand in some some form of a shake. Okay. Even though he is disappearing. All right. And then as he grabs his hands, just kind of disappears. And he says, toodles. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, disappears into the ether and like sh shining sparkly purple lights. I have an important question. Yes. But her now just falling uh, from the sky. Gonna ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there and done that. Yeah, that's true, yeah. How do I get them? You have wings, right? At your next blink, you're sitting in the seat you were first at. Interesting. So judgment came through on his word. Good to know. Good job, judgment. 
This might just work. If I'm lucky, and I'm rarely that lucky, it might just work. Back to any Alice and Basil. You are going to Jobs Alehaven, correct? Mm hmm. Okay. You arrive there. It's not, well, it's kind of deeper into the city. Uh, it doesn't take too long to get to. And it's built into a, a raised hillside. It says down stone facade and, and wooden doors. And it looks actually kind of like a, almost like a hobbit home, I guess. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and warm light spills out into the dark, misty streets. Uh, it's very rowdy. It sounds like that place is H O P P opping. Pee pee. It's <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. It's doing that thing. God dang it, <laughs> children. So, uh, what would you like to do? Um. So on the way over, mm -hmm. Basil's been regaling me about his new hobby of. Magical tattoos. Is that so? Mm, yes. What's happening? Tell me, tell me. Catching you up. Uh, well, you know, when I when we were separated all on our different missions, I was like, Amali has spent a lot of time healing, and I can't really do anything for anyone if I can't bring you back up. And so then I talked Harshnag's ear off, and then eventually Harshnag was like, I can teach you tattoos. And <laughs> <laughs> because that's the only reason that's that perfect. Let me show you something. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> so anyway, I can do anything if you want. I can do, uh, I can do little hearts. I can do a ghost. I can do, uh, well, it's mostly those things right now. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the door opened and, and Bouncer sort of throw, fell out. Whoop. And he looks I like he stepped to the side. Fuck you! And he crawls away. <laughs> Through the snow. <laughs> just like that. What is that? The, army crawl. The, the, yeah, the army crawl. <laughs> and it looks like this is your kind of place, Basil. Vomits and passes out to the side of the tavern. <laughs> uh -huh. And you hear just like rowdy music in there. We'll be dead in the morning. <laughs> uh, no, the, the ice will keep him. <laughs> Preserved. <laughs> you just hear like clinking tankers and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your contact that we're looking for? Oh, uh, a <laughs> guy named uh, Bernhardt. Uh, sort of Shemmy Freeman. Uh, probably the most obvious thing is I heard he's got a tattoo of a griffin on his left arm. Oh, I should learn a griffin. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. All right, tat tattoo guy. So we kind of got to look for a guy that fits that description. Hopefully, we don't see too many guys that fit that description. Everyone, has everyone, has everyone, has everyone has a tattoo of a griffin. <laughs> it's like uh, those things, like it tells images apart. It's like a tattoo of a griffin, just like a little bit different. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and open the front door and walk in. Okay, it's already open with the... Oh, the bouncer. Yeah, oh, he's going to close the door, obviously, because yeah. it's cold out. Yeah, it, tomorrow. All right. And opens, and, and as soon as you open the door, give me a deck save. You're about to chuck somebody at you. That's not great. Uh, <laughs> plus six, so ten. Ten? Okay, there's a bar fight, and a, a tanker comes. It's enough to die. You just move out of the way, and it crashes next to your head. Nice! <laughs> Well, it was quite rowdy in here. Uh, they eventually settled down, though. So yeah, it's insane. It, sounds, it smells like very uh, hearty food and lots of ales. Uh, there's a there's a fireplace in the back, exceptionally large, and smoke billows from it, both you know everywhere. Uh, and <laughs> it's everywhere, just inside the inside the tavern. Ah, yes, uh, lung cancer. <laughs> it's just it's just like shoulder to shoulder uh, here in this tavern. So you can almost you couldn't even get to the bar if you well you could if you waited a while, but yeah. And there's, I, there's there's various minstrels like on a raised platform, and there's large open dance areas. Is there lots of like fencing around the raised platform so when people throw bottles at them, they don't get hit directly? Is that how that works? Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do I see anyone who's even Rashemi to begin with? Oh my god, you couldn't even tell your head from your butt in this place. <laughs> the people all bundled up or something, so they're not. No, 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 no. I mean, it's, it's just, it's packed. Oh, it's just, yeah. I can't see that You can see part. one person in front of you, maybe. Okay. At a time. Um, I'm going to see if I can kind of shuttle along the walls to find some place to sit 
that's not in the crowd. Any, any owls down, down, and I'll like put my hands on his shoulders and, and okay. push him down a little bit, and I'm just okay. gonna climb fully up on his back. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dance on the table. All right, so you want to make your way to where? Just to the I'm just trying to see over people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you see up there? Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a perception roll at disadvantage. Disadvantage, but I'm so tall. <laughs> And Basil's accustomed to being so tall. Well, my passive perception and investigation is 18. That's if it's passive, you're actually looking. Okay, um, yeah. So that's a six plus. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one. Okay. Uh, all right. All you see is lots and lots and lots of Damaran and individuals and no discerning. There's just, it's like, a, it's like a, a sea of people. Drunk, it's naked, it's drunk, mod, yeah. drunk, naked. Yes. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> Make out details, yeah. Okay. Sorry, any of us. I'll climb back down real and clunky. A barkeep, uh, not a barkeep, but a, 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 ten, a tenderess, a tender, tender. Waitress? A waitress. Yes, else? that's what I, I've been Bartender? to. Bartender? I've been to many bars. Uh, they, <laughs> <laughs> the barkeep? <laughs> yes. Uh, bumps into you in a, a platter. Oh, sorry. Do you want a seat? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back corner. It's open now. Three left. Let's go. go, go just go. start shoving our way through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're shoving your way through, weed. and there's three open seats uh, in what's like a, a square table. And part of the table looks like something took a bite out of it, so there's only three seers. <laughs> ah. I don't want to know what took a bite out of the table, but let's let's have a seat. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you are at your seat, and another uh, t- server... Yes. Yeah. yes, we'll call him that. Okay. Uh, I know all the bar lingo. Comes to you. Order! Hey, shut up over there! I could use a Rashemi Freeman with a griffin tattoo on his arm and a small ale. Okay, we got uh, trout cakes, grilled reindeer sausage, and wild hunter stew. One of all of that. <laughs> okay, and the special today is reindeer skewers. I will take some of those. <laughs> okay. I should make that two orders. He looks hungry too. Okay. Uh, drinks, mold wine or mold mead? Man, that's such a choice. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go for the wine. I'm feeling okay. a little classy. And you? Uh, wine, of course. Okay. I'm also wine. classy. <laughs> <laughs> classy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the server goes away. Okay. <laughs> Anybody that like walks by the table that makes any sort of eye contact, it's like an immediate like hello. Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh are you. These are you all be- just friends we haven't made yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so uh, sad. It's so bad. Everybody. Yeah. Is so Interesting. People are just. Uh, so John. Why do you think I got so much food? <laughs> These are not people like look at you and then pass out on the floor, okay. uh, and then. Oh, oh. Uh, actually, you know what, uh, Basil? A couple. Table's over. There's this uh, probably between like maybe like 19 and 21 year old or whatever uh, a- Asimar boy uh, who smiles and looks at you a couple times. He's got shaggy blonde, <laughs> hair. Shaggy, okay. shaggy blonde hair, like brilliant green eyes, like Asimar eyes. And <laughs> no, this is unrelated. I just wanted to talk. Uh, <laughs> he keeps kind of like stealing glasses away and then talking with you know some of his friends. There it looks like. I thought we all took turns to like, yeah. <laughs> Basil, I, I do believe you've gotten somebody's attention. Well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> well, like, well, it certainly wasn't me. <laughs> I, I you that. Should be able to that look. Wait, what was it? That face. What was it? It was really cute. Going to a YouTube short area. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. It was, it was really, really cute. cute. On TikTok. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Oh, you man. It's just afterwards. me being awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right, yeah, time for that. <laughs> you doing anything in the meantime? I'm still kind of scanning the crowd, seeing because people are kind of just shuffling around and okay. stuff. I'm you know, perception like, disadvantage, please. Alrighty. As you do that, the music just that's terrible. Kind of gets louder and louder. Eleven. Yeah. You don't see anybody with a tattoo. Well, you see people. Do with I see even Rashemi? People. No, uh, okay. they have like uh, like twilight kind of colored skin. Usually. Yeah, kind of ashy color. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so they have very distinctive eyes that kind of glow. Okay. Um, and uh, you don't really see them very much outside of Thay. So, Basil. Yes. This boy 
looks like he gives you one one more glance and uh, gets up from the table and uh, walks over to your table. He's got like, like rosy cheeks, like he's a little like you know. As he's approaching, yeah. I get up. I'm gonna go over to the no! bar and see if the bartender knows anything. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, kid. Yeah. Oh, no. nice. I need an adult. <laughs> he says, "Hey, you are an adult. hey, uh, you're cute. Do you want to dance?" Oh, um, sh- sh- yes. <laughs> yeah, <For> sure. <laughs> okay. I mean, you look at your character sheet. Um, <laughs> but you uh, dance. <laughs> yes. Okay. So he offers you his hand. Oh, great! I take it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and he takes you over to the stage. And he says, do you know how to do the Demoran uh, jig? You'll have to show me. I'm not familiar with that one. Okay. Um, Kent, do you mind? Sure. Okay. And he kind of holds on to you like a, you know, the a dancing. Jig style. Yeah, jig style. <laughs> uh, and he, he gives you a couple pointers. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. And it's a pretty easy dance. Imagine like a like a wedding, one of the wedding dances everybody can do mm-hmm. everything in tomorrow. Sure. Um, and you begin to jig. Keep it chill. So, yeah. I'll throw in a little like yartar flourish. Oh, you know, from a home okay. dance. Yeah, he sort of he spins you and fancy. Uh, the the music is very raucous and it's, it's very fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, and after the song is over, any Alice, what are you doing? Okay. I'm doing exactly what I said. I'm oh, doing. I say I just like I that. timed it intentionally, <laughs> uh, but I'm actually okay. doing that. Okay, you trying to get a drink? I'm trying to get to the bar to talk to the bartender and see if he's or oh. she or they have seen. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So we'll get you. Uh, give me a strength check. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Just. Uh, uh. Okay, I have proficiency in that. Uh, oh. 17 total. Okay, you can manage to, to shove your way as people just kind of fall all over you. Because there's just people everywhere. Yeah, God, exactly. Just like. They all smell of puke and beer. <laughs> <laughs> it does smell quite, yeah, uh, taverny. Yeah. So you make it to the, the front. All right. Uh, the boy looks at you, he says, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's, uh, Darren. Darren. That's not my name, that's yours. I'm just repeating it so I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Uh, I am Basil. <laughs> what are you doing here, Basil? Well, actually, you could help me. I'm on a top secret mission Ooh. with the... What's our group name? Heroes of Frostfire. Heroes of Frostfire. <laughs> Wait, what? You're a hero of Frostfire. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here on a very special mission as we're like dancing and like mm-hmm. twirling around Ooh. for my friend Annie Alice over there. Mm-hmm. And we are looking for someone with a griffin tattoo. Oh, griffin tattoo. You mm. can be part of this legendary <laughs> story. <laughs> Perhaps you can help us find this it, friend. It would be an honor, Basil. You have pretty eyes, by the way. Oh, well. (laughs) 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 Uh, You begin answering, he says, "Uh, how can we do the search? Uh, Well, you've been here longer than me, but um, I was hoping maybe you'd just already seen the person. He says, let me think. Hmm. And he stares into your eyes. <laughs> I was gonna look, but then I started staring in your eyes. <laughs> Maybe if we spin around a lot <laughs> through the through the crowd. Maybe we'll find. Maybe what if we teach everyone the dance and we kind of get everybody in on it so we can look around better. Okay, yeah, that's great. Great. Do we know when the tattoo? Let's on their upper left arm. I, I told Basil. So oh, take the clothes off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll and so the, the boy says, "One moment." And he goes over to the the minstrels and he says, "That's actually what he says too." Yeah, that's that's what he says. And then they celestial. They start up again in just a moment, and it's a it's one of the most popular Damar and jigs. It's called the Cold Lands Jigaroni, and so it's it's just like that. And people at this point begin hearing it and they all kind of pile onto the dance floor. Did that work? I think so. Everybody's sort of all in one place to look at. Okay. It's helpful. And Eddie Alice, as you you see the crowd begin to disappear onto the dance, dance floor. floor. Uh, and at, you're, you go up to the barkeep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just, it's a, a gnome. Okay. Uh, looks up and, and she's kind of cleaning a bunch of like glasses and other tavern stuff. Doing the barkeep thing. Yeah, it's doing the barkeep thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't yeah. help you. Have you seen 
a Roshemi around. Table eight, next. Also, can you add another order of those skewers to our order? I don't have your order. Talk to your server. Oh, waiter. Waiter. <laughs> waiter. <laughs> Get to see that face again. Do you want a drink or not? Uh, <laughs> sure, I'll take a mead too. What the Here's a mead. <laughs> Thank you. I had to, wait, which one's table eight? Slam the mustard. Over Two there. Points. Next. Slam okay, I head for table eight. Okay. With my mead. At this point, you see Annie Alice going towards table eight. Ooh, okay. All right, uh, which, uh, well, your perception, perhaps is 18. Oh, yeah, you yeah. see there's, a, there's an individual there. Uh, kind of like a tiefling, a shadowy looking figure. Uh, it's very, looks like they're tall and lean, and they have a uh, long coat uh, on, but it's sleeveless, uh, and they have a, a griffin tattoo. Mm. You did it. No, you did it. <laughs> you did it. You're awesome. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> hey. You dance so good. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to go out with my friends later? Oh, um, yeah, but right now, uh, part of the secret mission is making sure that my friend doesn't get murder stabbed <laughs> during this robbing. <laughs> That's, wow, I'm really impressed. Thank you, it's a really important job. One more dance then? Yeah, maybe we can do the sneaky spying while we're dancing. Okay, so you keep dancing? Yeah, so not, super cool. Are you going with? Um, can we keep an eye on him while, like, while we're? Oh around. yeah, that's fine. Like every yeah. time I you know, pirouette Assuming or whatever, I'm like okay. checking up, making yeah, sure he's can. not dead. Okay, all right. <laughs> Are you dead yet? <laughs> I'm not dead or stabbed dead or bodily yet. injured. <laughs> I'm not quite dead yet. <laughs> not dead okay. yet. Uh, not dead yet. I think I want to ask like, just like while like passively want to do while he's doing the thing, mm-hmm. but like asking like where they're all from, why they're all there, like what they're part of, and like the greater oh, sort of mission. Boy? Yeah. Oh, just, like, all the, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It says yeah, my parents work in. Uh, the bloodstone mines, bloodstone. in the glacier. Oh. oh, so you know your way around a glacier. <laughs> well, that I've was... never been there. Okay, okay, <laughs> cool. Well, that's <laughs> helpful. But, so, basically, how it works is, it's five days on, two days off. That they... sounds like a lot for <laughs> sort of <laughs> the labor for a four-day work yeah. week. <laughs> they go up north and they come back, and the job's done. Hmm. Okay, it's not glamorous up. work, but you know, that's probably what I'll do when I grow up. Is that what you want to do when you grow up? No, probably not. Then don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we have here. What if you didn't have to stay here? Where, where would we go? Where would I go? Anywhere you want. <laughs> 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 oh. I'd only go if it was you, with you. I have a, sh- I don't want to brag, but I have a shit. <laughs> ah, flies. <laughs> and he just, just stops still. What? I've always wanted to fly. Can you not, don't I more have wings? Right, yeah. but like fly fly. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you have wings. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes for foot. Uh, oh yeah, like no. That. Yeah. yeah, they have a height. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but I, yeah. That's out of character. <laughs> I can show you my wings later, but... Oh! oh. <laughs> Hot damn. Well, if you show me... Never mind. Show me a Never mind. All right, any Alice? Yes. So... <laughs> okay. All right, so... Uh, this... Good move. Good, Why do good, I ask good. for friends? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, this person... Is as I said, they have a different tattoo, but they're they have they're just chugging drinks and they're looking around a lot and they're in a, a single kind of bar table. So I'm gonna walk up next to him. And well, give me a fright, man. Bernhardt. Yeah. Any else? Yeah. Got somewhere private stock. In this place, probably not. You want to step outside for a moment? Second story. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Oh, gotta get past, gotta get past the bouncer. <laughs> oh, we can manage that. <laughs> okay. All right. The bouncer is a large Goliath. Uh, tons of tattoos, all the way up and down from its bald head to the floor. I'm gonna go I mean, past the bar first. Okay. Go ahead and see if can I get food at the bar. Yeah, it'll take you a long time. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna get another one of the meads. Okay, you grab another mead. So I'm walking over with two of them. Okay. And I walk up to the giant. Mm-hmm. What's up, man? How you doing? 
Are you drunk? I'm not drunk. You're you're not drunk either. Here, have some. <laughs> what? I can't take drinks. I'm sorry. I'm on the job. So? It's a bar. Have fun. Persuasion. Nice. Mm-hmm. Vacation in yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see, I have a negative on that. Come on, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, oh. I rolled a one total. <laughs> <laughs> Please go away. I'm making sure there's no rowdy customers here. You mean like those ones? Okay, give me deception roll. <laughs> see, I have a negative on that too, don't I? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, I got a two on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're beginning to annoy me. Please go away. Post haste. Uh, I'm going to pretend I'm like, oh, man. And I'm going to trip and spill both drinks all over him. Oh, are you serious? Oh, dude. <laughs> like, oh, oh, shit, my bad man. Okay. And he grabs you with his two huge arms, which are like a bunch of arms put together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just... Hey, he's- not, like Goliath. Not physically, <laughs> just his arms are the size of trees. <laughs> yeah, that is what I just said. <laughs> he has to with all he ten sprouts of eight arms. <laughs> <laughs> all right, unfortunately, what's your strength modifier? Uh, plus one. <laughs> okay, well, okay. He grabs you and puts you on his shoulder. Uh, it was an accident. Okay, you're out of here. All right, Bowser, you see this happening. Uh... I gotta go, I gotta dip, and then I dip the the dude, and then I run off to get out of Alice. Nice. <laughs> okay, and what are you gonna do? So uh, at this point, you're, as strongly as you might, this Goliath just has this- I'm not one. struggling. Oh, you're not? Okay. It's like, dude, it was an accident! Okay. I'm trying! <laughs> Alright, he's about to throw any Alice out the door. Wait, please don't. What? Because I asked nicely. <laughs> <laughs> See with you? Yes, and he won't cause any more problems. Persuasion, at advantage. The um, puppy dog eyes. That's exactly. <laughs> Please, uh, fourteen. Oh, okay. You promise to keep an eye on him, kid. Both of them, sir. <sighs> <laughs> he just throws you down. You take two points of blood damage. <laughs> He's drunk. Keep an eye on him. Absolutely. And I'm like. <laughs> and he goes and back yeah, to guarding the door up. What were you trying to? What did you do? You tried trying trust. to find a private place. He said we could go upstairs. That's oh, this did, is Bernhardt. That's how you get stabbed. That's why I'm here. He wasn't gonna stab me. Look, he's unarmed. I mean, yes, he has giant arms. But he didn't have <laughs> weapon arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. Um. You, uh, you don't think the bar's private enough? We kind of got everybody on the dance floor away from the tables. Are there any tables like kind of in the corner at this point that got cleared out by the crowd? Yes, moving? ish, but you have limited amount of time before the crowd will come back. If you can keep them on the dance floor a little bit longer, we'll make do. You got it. So I'll take Bernhardt back over to our table. You said it was kind of off on the yeah, back okay. corner. Okay. How big is this room? I mean... Enormous, like 200 by 200. Yeah, it is. All right, middle of the dance floor, yeah. giant size. Oh, yeah! <laughs> ah, okay. Double nice. party. Uh, do, you bust, like, <laughs> do you bust through the... Raise the roof. Raise the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope not. Okay. That was why I asked. Okay. Uh, Just more you, to make the dance intention? floor like more exciting and like the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works, yeah. There's more people cool, cool, cool. who are uh, just enamored by the amount of activity. Cool, going cool, on there. yeah. More chaos on the dance floor. More than chaos, everywhere else. Yeah. I'm sure. Now it's like, I'm sure somebody else is happy to have you back on the dance floor too. Now it's just rumbling. Like all the steps you take are just—it's like a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am the bass drop. <laughs> oh yeah, you are, you are the bass drop. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right, there's people everywhere. It's like a like a rave at this point. You were just you know, swinging on nice. other people or whatever that thing is. Crowd surfing. Crowd right. surfing, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. So, uh, I just start playing heavy heavy metal, I assume. Hard okay. loot. Yeah. <laughs> Hard, Hard loot. loot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rock and roll. Okay. I give Enyalis a big thumbs up. <laughs> so, I'm going to go over to our table with Bernhardt. Okay. All right. So, Bernhardt says, All right, that'll do, I guess. Yeah, sorry. Didn't work out very well. That's okay. You tried. I appreciate that. I'm not really a people person. Uh, well,. Neither am I. In fact, I wish death to even be here. Who's trying to kill you? Well, everyone in Thay. That doesn't sound very nice. I'm part of the Griffin's Brotherhood. Brotherhood of the Griffin. 
I'm drunk, sorry. It's okay. We're against Severn and the Red Wizards. Oh. We represent true old Fae. It's taken from my people, the Rashemi. We fight and hope to rid us of their blight. Us and the remaining living people of Fae, anyway. We've been increasingly disregarded, enslaved, captured, and, but most of all stolen away as the Red Wizards embracing this new existence of theirs under Severin as undead vampires, liches, servitors of undeath. Seats within the Zolker Council are filled by these powerful undead arcanists now, all handpicked by Severin. Sounds like a pretty shitty place at this point. Yeah, it's not good. We should try to get the good people out. Or maybe we can help get the bad people out. Or try and believe me. That's why I'm here. I wanted to tell Bahamut what was going on. I know someone who's got a hook up with Bahamut. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Your people, the your legions. Yeah, we're trying to stop all the forces of evil. So I'm sure we can add your uh, your friends to the list. Are they already sided with the uh, forces of Tiamat? Uh, maybe I don't know. No, well, they sound like kind of bad folks anyway. I'm sure we can uh, get rid of them on our way. Well, actually, any else? Uh, you know, they already. So the army that you went up, you and Raz went up against. Okay. It was part of Thay. Oh, it was part yeah, of the Severn's yeah, group. Yes, correct. Okay. Yes, yeah. All right. So I know they're already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I, it should have been clarified. I was there right. a while. Yeah. So, yeah, they're working with you, Matt. Yes. We're gonna wipe them out anyway. We'll get your lands back for you. Thay is. All right. One day you'll have old Thay back. I hope so. So. But it's not that simple. Do you know what they're doing now? What's that? Rumor is they've channeled their power and they're beginning something, constructing something called the Dread Ring. This is apparently, I don't know, some kind of fort, some, something, a tower that focuses all the arcane power. It courses through Thay upon its completion. They'll be able to bring about any force they want. I don't know. Sounds like something we should be putting a stop to then. How far into construction are they, do you know? No idea. We're on the front lines. Trying to get people out. Save who I can. Well, stick with that. You can do what you can. It's tough work. I'm sure. They could be watching us right now. Yeah, kind of suspected that they probably have spies in a lot of places. Well... Now, you know anything about Taki? Who? Taki. I don't know what you're talking about. Dragon. I was told you might know. I got no idea, man. Hmm. Wait, what's wrong with this dragon? She teleported away to get rid of a couple of the uh, ancient dragons who were fighting with Tiamat's armies. Oh, those dragons? Yeah. It's like I said, man. They're stealing people away. I... Gotta imagine they're siphoning them or using this fuel for the Dread Ring. Now this really needs to be stopped. Got any other intel for us? Not really. Is the Dread Ring being constructed in the capital? No, no one knows where it's at. A tower that large and nobody can find it? I, man, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I need to take a lesson from Basil and look from above. Look for what? Oh, look from above. <laughs> I mean, given it's say, who knows? Somewhere, the power, I don't know, some world line thing, whatever they can use to get unlimited power. Ley lines? Sure. I think I've heard of that stuff recently. Anyway. Let's figure think. something out. All right. I gotta say. <coughs> he begins, like, pouring out blood from his oh, mouth. Jesus. His eyes just, like, become bloodshot. <coughs> what? Jesus. What's going on? <coughs> it's safe. Find the dread ring. Save us all. <coughs> and he just pours out blood and just falls flat on the table. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh, shit. Can you see where that drink came from? Uh, okay. Get your perception, anything else? Mm, 
Or investigation. What 14. Oh, 14? Okay, I will say that since there's no one on the dance floor because of Basil's actions. You mean uh, everyone's on the dance floor? What? You mean everyone's on the dance floor? Yeah, more or less. Okay. You see what looks like it's a very dirty tavern and the floor is just filthy. Almost near the doorway at this point, you see some invisible footsteps heading out. So I'm going to jump up and dash after him. You will not be able to reach whatever this is uh, unless you use your powers. And I'm going to be pretty aware of this as I'm jumping up that, that I'm not going to catch him in time. Yes, you're 100% okay. aware of this. Okay. You don't have the capabilities of this thing. It's almost out the door. Okay. I'm going to click the little device on my wrist. Okay. Uh, and are you still looking... At him, or are you busy in the rave? Uh, you told me. I mean, I was keeping an eye on him, I think. That's what you told but, me, yeah. Yeah. You see any Alice, uh, you hear something like over there, and you see any Alice sort of touch his left. Is it the left? Mm hmm. Yeah. Go into like his sleeve and do something with his hand. And for you, any Alice, there's like a almost like a time stop. It goes and everything slows down. It's like a haze of blue. Mm hmm. Now, your eye lights up. Whoa. And you can see it's uh, like you can see it's lit up, lit up. It's lit up because it could, there's there's like a glow in the front mm. of your clothes the armor. Uh, and you see any Alice moving at like some kind of unprecedented speed. Mm. Am I in slow motion? For him, yes. For you, you're in normal motion. Oh, I see. I see. That's right. So I didn't stop super, us. Super He's fast. just manipulating himself. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, you as everything, you're moving. Everything's in slow motion. I make eye contact with you while you're doing it. Right? Wouldn't that be weird if he's going super fast? <laughs> it's, not, it's not really he's going super fast. It's hard. It's like, oh. yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So you make it out the door. Basically, as soon as these, these footsteps, uh, I've so, just make it, made their way out. Uh, and what do you do? I'm going to try to tackle. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a, just roll the hit, I guess. Okay. I would like to follow him. Okay. All right. You make your way. It's a little hard. The dance floor is busy, busy, but you're we'll large size, so you can uh, make, your side. Out, make your way out. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like I'm at a 20 total. 20 total? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you go to tackle this, whatever this, I assume it's a figure, uh, and you miss. I kind of guessing based on the footsteps, like the size and position, basic is all I can go by. Uh, you miss and you roll off to the side. Okay. Uh, as much as you could use your full force, you can recover pretty quickly. And this individual yeah. is obviously are you still I using your tumble? Your... And I'm using, you know, I have martial arts background, so I'm tumbling. You're still, you're still get back up. Are you still going with time dilation? Yeah. Okay. You have one day, so far. Okay. All right. So uh, you make your way out. So you aren't as in such a position as everybody else, as far as not being in the same sort of time dilation as as any else would be. Mm. Uh, so you make your way outside. And you see any else has just kind of fallen. Do I see um, the footprints or what he's pursuing? Uh, uh, yes, out here in the snow, do you see the, yeah, there's footsteps in the snow. Okay, great. And so I've seen that he's tried to tackle. Yes, and miss. Presumably, great. Uh, how far away am I? Uh, probably like 20 feet, maybe. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to take a few bounds forward and then punch out with my Eldritch Claw tattoo. Okay, roll the hit. Okay. It reaches 15 feet. No, that's fine, yeah. Let's okay. Go, ah! That was it. Basil. Plus, whoa, I guess what do I use for that? Just your it's a range attack, so it's a dex. Just your hands. Uh, 20? A 20? Uh, uh, no, nope. 20. Unfortunately, uh, you go to strike, and there's thunder that shoots off, uh, and this figure dashes to the side and begins running. Um, can I scoop any Alice and run after? Any Alice, it's your turn. What do you do? Uh, I'm still moving it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can easily catch up. Uh, I'm going to get up close to where the figure I'm assuming is based on their yes. footsteps. You can catch up easily. The footstep, you move like twice or three times. I'm just going to scoop and throw a bunch of snow <laughs> oh. in the direction. Nice. Nice. And then uh, nice. they're covered in snow, like almost like the glitter spell or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and they turn, and as, as they do, uh, it's enough where it kind of breaks the concentration. Mm -hmm. uh, so you turn, you see this, I mean, clearly like an assassin, but just all in red. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And they they just they're sheathing a dagger. And their face is completely covered like a red uh, mask. Can I 
Ooh, red wizard. How, how tall are they? Like little like teeny tiefling or giant person? No, no, no they're size? just regular height. Yeah, okay. five or six feet tall, perhaps. Can I kind of grab them? Uh, yeah. So you can, well, you know, you can, at this point you can grab them. Yeah, they're distracted. Okay. Uh, you grab their arm. I'm gonna grab their arm and try to. Uh, and da- you see a dagger out. go slow motion towards you. Can I try to body check him as he's pulling out the dagger? Uh, you are not as fast as any else. You couldn't I'm just make it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't you think can throw something. Nice oh yeah. Uh, the dagger's really slow. You see it. Coming. I'm gonna oh, kind of try to grab the oh, dagger easily. hand. Oh, easily. Easily grab it. And just try to get both their hands like behind their back. Okay. Yeah, you easily do that. Okay. Yeah. And they're tied up now. Yeah. Nice. Great. So, and then I'm going to get them down, face down in okay. the snow. Okay. Plant them on the snow, and they're struggling. I will sit on them. Okay. When I get over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to let the time dilation let off. Okay. Now. Can you uh, help me out here, Basil? Crisscross applesauce on <laughs> this person. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull their hood off. Okay. Uh, there's no face, only an explosion. Or the little decks. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. So as soon as you open it, it's like, uh, there's just <gasps> red. Yes. As- I rolled a 20, so Not I have 26 20. total. 26 total? 16. 16? Okay. Uh, Basil, you're going to take 26 points. Okay. Uh, fire damage. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> and you are now flying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you both get uh, blown flying back. Well, actually, blows. you don't, you don't, you just kind of fall back. On your back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Alex, you take some uh, residual damage from this explosion. Okay. Uh, 13 points of fire damage. It's half. Uh, and the figures, and the cloak just kind of like burns away. Ow. Is the dagger still sitting there in the snow? Uh, no. No mm. traces left. Well, shit. Okay, both give me intelligence roll, actually. Okay. Now you have a second to catch yourselves. Nope. <laughs> uh, actually, rolled with a 19 Sorry. total. Oh, 19? Nope. Uh, okay, you don't know much about them, but you know that Thay hires assassins on occasion called the Red Ravens. In fact, probably some news you even picked up, like, this has been active forever, so even on your first travels east, yeah. you probably could have. DM, would I know anything about these? Yeah, probably. Okay. Frickin' Red Ravens. Thay assassins. Oh. They just killed my informant. Oh. Didn't you really just have left the a knowledge body of- in there? Well, you know, I kind of no, saw the footsteps. Like, I had to move. All right. He didn't have the information I needed, but he had other information that I think we needed to know anyway, so. Nothing on talkie then? Maybe. No. Well, I'll let you all know when we get everyone back together. Sure. Um, okay, uh, anything pressing, or should we go maybe hide the body from the party goers? Yeah, I'll take care of him. You, You go hang out with the boy. And I walk off without what? letting you even respond. What? <laughs> <laughs> you hear in the tavern, there's been a murder! Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <you go shoot. laughs> and, shit. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's what we're going to call it for you two. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, there's been a at murder. some point, you two are heading back, you said? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Razwar and John. Okay. Uh, and what you're heading back as well? Yeah, with the princess. Okay. So, where are you, you two are going to the... To the opera. To the they're opera? Tr- yeah, they're trying to catch the commander, yeah. remember? Okay, got it. You by, by the time you arrive at the opera. Hey, uh, hold on. Yes? John, before we head to the opera, that's gonna be going on for a while. How about we stop by where they're gonna hold the jousting? And check that place out. That's a good idea. Yes. Excellent. All right. I will be emerging from the gardens uh, at this time. You are <laughs> yes. well, the Harris from uh, just left the gardens, which is just a stone's throw away from the jousting arena. John, Raswell, is that you? Yeah. Are you the ghost of a bear? <laughs> <laughs> I will, and I go. Ah! <laughs> Your first nightmare. Ah! <laughs> I follow my ass laughing. <laughs> You're in a good mood. And you like can't get you back up. The <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's an overturned turtle. Good <laughs> lord. Okay, I'm fine. Yes, I found it quite nice to have some time to myself. Well, just so we can fill you in, here's the situation. We are, um, uh, something's going to go wrong at the jousting tournament tomorrow. There is a saboteur afoot. Hmm. 
And Once it's not me. Razwa had the uh, rather smashing idea for us to go and uh, check it out, see if we can discover anything. I think that's an excellent plan. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll help you. Don't you think I about the whiskey? I have an for detecting traps. You certainly do. <laughs> or stepping into them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's a way of detecting them. Either way, I appreciate it. <laughs> Very well, lead the way. You have a question, Razwa? Yeah, Vahera. Yeah. Do you know anything about the Witch King? The Witch King? I can't say I've ever heard of it. Mm. Should I? The Warlocks are planning on bringing him back, whoever he is. So he must not be very good then. Well, that just put a stop to it then. I got a belt. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's a lovely belt, John. So shiny. <laughs> does it does it do anything, or is it just aesthetically pleasing? <laughs> I get the feeling what? it does something, and you <laughs> are lying. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, just so right, right behind, like just so that the the circle, uh, the the radius is right behind Vahera's back enough to warm her. I'm gonna expend one of my uses of fireball so that the radius just like, so it just basically it's like a bomb, just like <laughs> right behind her, and it, but it like will warm her back. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna everybody turn, will I'm, know a contained fireball. Okay. I'm gonna turn around and kind of. It's just a fireball. <laughs> it's just nice. Explosions That's in the middle. Of, explosions in the middle of a castle city. <laughs> Wait, just no a, one will care. <laughs> uh, okay. It's, it's not controlled. It's it's. I cast the center of it far enough out. How from, big is fireball? Anyway, it's like a twenty foot radius. Okay, that's that's a pretty big. So that's a pretty big radius. That's okay. You can cast yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. It's just. <laughs> And you hear, hey, what's going on over there? Uh, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> Call the John. guards! There's been a fire! Quickly now, Question quickly mark. now. Oh! So to the jousting yes. arena? <laughs> we walk at a qu- very quick pace. <laughs> okay. A brisk walk. Uh, all right. <laughs> you arrive there. It's, it's pretty late in the night. Uh, there's still some people working on setting it up. It's a... Enormous arena, but at this point in the moonlight, you can't make it out to its full capacity. Uh, but yeah, you're there now. Well, it's in the outskirts of the city. Do what you do, I guess. <clears throat> Let's go. Nice. <laughs> All right, Barrett, go ahead and roll, I guess, an investigation, or uh, what else would it be? I mean, perception, I guess? Uh, uh, investigation arcana? Yeah, that uh, could work. Sure. Okay. And you, you two, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do Arcana. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'll look around. Oh, wait, no, that's not okay. what I thought that was. Sure. I wanna make okay. sure there's like nobody else watching. 14? 14? See okay. nothing. No, nobody <laughs> excluding these two. But okay, shit there's some, again, there's people here. There's there's some guards, but they, they let you through, obviously, as he hears a frost fire. So. Can I do like, can I do an Arcana check and an investigation sure, check? Sure, do both, yeah. Give me your totals. Uh, the first one was 14 for Arcana, okay. and. Um, 17 for investigation. Okay. I want to look for both physical and magical traps. You look around and there's nothing out of place here. Mm. So, Razor? I was saying that I don't want anyone besides party members looking at me when I flip my eye patch. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, there's bzz, I flip the eye patch out of back up. <sighs> uh, bursts open. Uh, the, the, it's magic, like it's, it's aura bursts open. Uh, and you look around, and all you see is uh, some, some people prepping, like, fire elemental magic underneath, uh, like, around the arena to keep it probably uh, snow-free during the tournament. Hmm. It's like some wards, basically. That's it. Nothing else out of the ordinary. Find hmm. anything. I've got nothing over here. I Not that I really know what I'm looking for. Back down. Okay. No physical traps, as far as I can see. No trap doors, no hidden passages, no magical traps, no hint of any demonic magic or draconic magic or anything. But something about this isn't quite right. Maybe they didn't lay anything here in advance and they're just planning on doing something when there's a large amount of people around. That's entirely possible. But something like this would involve very careful planning. And very careful planning usually leads, leaves some kind of trace. Can I go and investigate where 
the the individual the the commander must have a box in the arena. Um, the command oh the commander of the warlock knights. Yeah, he must have like a seat that's set aside for him. Yes, all so everybody who's of any there's a large the large main tent where like the princess would sit or the mm-hmm. prince would any who's residing and yeah all the people of importance would be up on a raised dais. I'd like, like to get up it. there. Yeah, you can to inspect. Well, there's guards up there right now, obviously patrolling, so nobody does, sets anything up probably for the next day. Uh, <laughs> I would like to head. get up there and perhaps release some sleep gas canisters and put them to sleep. Okay, there's quite a lot of guards. Oh, okay. and they're not just all in one place. Invisibility. <laughs> 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 That's a good point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. Okay. And misty step. Up to get where I need to be, where I need to be. Uh, you, you land with the sound of a mouse maximum. Uh, and, all right, you're up there. I mean, where the, all the, the Mar and the Quirrell family is, is very ornate, intricate, and there's mm-hmm. guards patrolling about. Okay. Uh, they don't notice you at all. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's places for, like, invited guests. Okay. I want to specifically inspect the chair, the, the areas where the princess will be and mm-hmm. where the commander will be. Okay, give me an, okay, give me an investigation and Arcana again. Again, okay. Fifteen. Okay. Arcana and ooh, uh, twenty-two for investigation. <clears throat> um, okay, so twenty-two for investigation. Uh, you find that they have been. Written of any trace of magic. But perhaps there may have been something there? No, as in for probably the safety of the people. Hmm. Nothing. They're just chairs. Something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Long story short, they're just chairs. Some more ornate than others. All right, I'm gonna work my way back to where John and Raz were. Are. Okay. <sighs> Nothing. Specifically, none of the chairs, anything. So if there's some trap that's being laid for either the princess or for us, they're using some magic I've either, either never heard of, or this plan is bigger than we expect. We must be cautious then. To the opera, we need to see if we can uh, bump into this warlock leader, if possible, hmm. before he snakes his way back to his little encampment. Perhaps once we do, I should uh, remain unseen. Maybe follow him home. It's an excellent idea. <clears throat> Let's do it. Oh, you right. make your way towards the opera. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. By the time you arrive, after all that investigating, uh, the opera is basically just let out, and you see Amalia and the princess walking out. I'm still invisible. Okay, and okay, you two. We're still. I don't. I don't think it lasts that long. It's an hour. Uh, It's an hour. If you want to be invisible, that's fine. Yeah, you can still be. Are we still over by the bar? You are over the bar. Anything you want to be there in particular? We just heard them yelling. There's been a murder, and I'm stopping before going back in. Okay. Yeah. We probably should leave. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) probably. Sorry. Um. No, that makes sense. Uh, Plus, you look a little scorched. <laughs> um, does that trick that you did with your wrist have anything to do with why? Uh, uh, blanking on names. Vex was mad at you. I'll just say yes for now. That was something different. I know because my eye lit up to see it. Your eyes lit up. Well, we all got some special magics happening, you know, but... Well, this is interesting. I thought nothing special happened to you. No, I told you about the... Ah, it doesn't matter right now. <laughs> <laughs> Deflect. Anyway, we should get going. <laughs> Would I hear a fireball going off elsewhere in the city? I mean, you probably. Okay. What was that? <laughs> John. <laughs> Good Somehow. Point. <laughs> but Somehow it was John. Sense <laughs> motive, <laughs> <it's laughs> <a sense mode. laughs> John, yeah. Okay, you realize that if, if that's him, though, that might be a bad sign. So let's head that way. All okay. Right. So you're leaving the tavern then? 
yeah. this point, the guards are coming in and stuff, and it's like people are spilling out, and it's it's a huge kerfluffle. Um, should we tell them it wasn't us? I mean, it wasn't us, so... <laughs> we didn't murder <laughs> that, that guy. <laughs> it, it wasn't us, that I swear. guy we were talking with, we definitely did murder him. <laughs> we were just the last people to see him alive. Then he was paying attention, and it's like... I mean, there's a giant scorch mark outside the tavern. There was an explosion, so that's probably also getting people's attention. Lots of explosions, yes. So are you staying, or...? No, I'm gonna no. get going. All right, some guards pass you on the way. Uh, they look at you and they nod and continue. Wait, yeah, there was an explosion. Some yeah. guy started coughing up blood. It was really a bad murder guy. Yeah, I just book it. <laughs> Understood. Here's a frost fire, and they. <laughs> I was gonna. You guys can get away with murder. <laughs> <Literally. Yeah. laughs> I was gonna dramatically run back to the side, maybe if uh, if Darren had come outside with the crowd. Ooh, I mean, don't you, think well, so. Are you still giant size? No. Oh, okay, you probably can't. It's busy now. Oh, I mean, yes. The, the <laughs> <laughs> Even I mean, if you were giant size right above, before the explosion, so. Yeah, there's multiple ways out of the tavern. Ah. It's hard to say. All right, I'll save the dramatics for later. You want to keep trying to no. uh, barge through and look through? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you leave, if you're going. <laughs> th- there's a strong yes on that no. <laughs> Okay, wait, yes, I do want to find him. Okay. <laughs> and Alice, are you... I'm just going to be like, ah, uh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you go through the crowd and people are leaving and, and there's a lot of actual panic because someone oh. got murdered. It's okay. The person that did it is gone. Ah! <laughs> I just, I just keep, people just keep running. <laughs> Threat nullified. Go oh. back to partying. Okay. Uh, and the guards go, uh, or inside are already kind of uh, questioning people and oh, investigating okay. the area. Uh, and you enter, uh-huh. uh, and Darren's still there. It looks like some people stepped over him and he broke his leg or something. Oh like my he's, god! Yeah, oh my god! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that mosh pit got crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Ah. Punch me, look. Not a here. Oh no, no! Punch his leg! 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 I punch his leg! Punch his leg! I will suffer four levels of exhaustion! Yeah, it's night time! Do it! Vessel just has to sleep for like four days. What? Amaya can heal you. Don't you have restoration? What? No, I don't have that. You could take it though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can. I thought you decided to take it for. Don't worry about it. I mean, if you did, we could. You know I, what? It doesn't matter. Instinct kicks in, and I see somebody injured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's somebody. After you were chanting, <laughs> instinct okay. kicks All in. Right. <laughs> We're your great chorus. And I summon the healing powers. Uh, that I channeled once before when Vahera was gravely injured. Oh, I uh, <laughs> The same situation. Vahera! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> and at the, you're in the middle of the bar and you just power up. Yep. This is a yellow aura shoots up uh, around you. Your eye lights up. Great. And the guards look up and they're like, I've heard of his power. <laughs> <laughs> And then the boat punches this guy. Do I see the glowing coming from inside the tavern at this point? You do. It's like, like there's like the shoots and spills out of the tavern. I walk back in. That's the power of the. And then the the bar the the barkeep the the gnome lady says, "Uh, "I think those two are the murderers. They were last seen with." That that is an unbased accusation. (laughs) The guards look at you and said, "What what happened to this individual here?" He's actually one of our informants. He was just murdered by the Red Ravens. They don't really like people helping us because they're with Tiamat's forces, so. Yeah, we tried to catch the murderer, but they kind of (laughs) self-detonated. Hence that uh, smoking crater outside. (laughs) That all checks out. <laughs> See, it's all very. These simple, are not the murderers. <laughs> <not before. laughs> Don't mind the glowing giant. <laughs> that all checks out. <laughs> We've heard of your tales. We believe just you. Tales. <laughs> okay. No reason not to believe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. Okay, you're gonna head towards Darren. Yep. He's a, ah, 
Don't. I think about like the voice of the you know Ouroboros yeah. going through me. Oh, don't yeah. worry. Don't. <laughs> 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 that was <is> that you. <laughs> and there's a guard that looks up and says, "I'm out." <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, and I will as I like. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit it hard. What are you, what are you doing? My, I think my leg is broken. Oh, don't worry about it. And I'm gonna like it's hit it with works. the healing hit. I'm gonna punch it with the healing <laughs> hit. Yeah, it's like superhero. You gotta superhero well, if it's land like, on if it. If the fracture's like sticking out on one side, you gotta <laughs> punch, punch it back in. Other, punch it back into place. You'll set the bone with a punch. Oh, you said okay. I don't know if this will hurt or not. Boom! We'll find out what happens next time. Did you activate the right fist? <laughs> you didn't tell me. <laughs> I said heels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. The, the band's almost back together again. Leave a comment down below yes, if you yes. liked what you saw. Smite that like button. Like, subscribe. Let us know if you think Darren's leg will heal. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll just become more broken. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, see you no, next time. No, no.